This is Washtenaw Community College's Vice President of Workforce Development and Community Engagement, Brandon Tucker. He works with Southeast Michigan employers to fill gaps in the labor force. What we're hearing is that we need people not in two, not in four years. We need people right now with the base set of skills and we'll help them grow and encourage them to go back to school or to finish their education. So a lot of those employers are saying, I'll hire them right now. I'll pay for them to stay going to Washtenaw and I'll make a commitment to make sure they finish while they're still on the job getting valuable work experience and in some cases, more importantly, a paycheck. The program to take this path at WCC is called the Michigan Federation for Advanced Manufacturing Education, or FAME a work and learn program between WCC and advanced manufacturing employers. There are chapters throughout the country, but WCC started the first in Michigan in January. This is 32 year old Andrew Denton. He's enrolled in the FAME program for advanced manufacturing and mechatronics, the study of technology combining electronics and mechanical engineering. I work at this place called Orbit Forum out in Jackson, Michigan. Great company, great group of guys building uh, impact rivet machines. I work there three days a week and then I come to school the other two days a week and I have a full course load. Before you made the decision to come back to school, what was the decision making process? For me, it was like I literally just couldn't keep going the way that I was going. I was just like, if I don't have some type of education, I'm not going to be able to get the type of pay I want. I'm not going to be able to live the type of lifestyle I want. At the end of the program, I should have around 1800 hours of work experience and an associate's degree in mechatronics. Although Denton sees a future here in Michigan, the Citizens Research Council of Michigan, who studies Michigan's growth in economic challenges, says that overall the state is suffering from brain drain, the loss of in-state college graduates to other states. WCC's solution is exposing younger students to in-demand fields and careers here in Michigan. We know there's, at any given time, 100,000 jobs open in Michigan. We know at any given time, southeastern Michigan, where we're situated, has probably about 30,000 to 40,000 of those jobs. Uh, we know that years ago, there was a real interest and investment at trying to get students to think about things other than just the four-year degree, right. the two-year degree, the certificates. Uh, we try really hard at the college to engage our high school partners early. WCC recently hosted high school juniors and seniors from multiple districts. They had no idea about mechatronics. They had no idea about cybersecurity. They had no idea about additive manufacturing. If we start reaching back and start and say, at the high school level, this is an opportunity, then I think that we go further faster. The FAME program is keeping some students in Michigan, but what about students who aren't a part of it? So when you're done with your certificate, with your degree, when you're finished with your program, are you planning on staying here in Michigan? I'm planning on leaving. Uh, living in another state. So I want to go into IT, so um, I plan on going to Atlanta to you know, pursue that career. I'll be here probably the rest of my life. I love Michigan. Is there anything in particular that's keeping you here? Uh, it's just beautiful. It's a nice state. Up north, great, great people. So for right now, my plan is to transfer to a HBCU. My plan is to transfer to Central State, which is in Ohio. While some are set on heading out of state, WCC graduates like Mike Rudisil, who graduated before the FAME program began, built a thriving career here in Southeast Michigan. Came here the first semester, I was taking a bunch of welding classes, and each day I was walking by the mechatronics lab here, and I'm kind of seeing these robots, and I, you know, what's, what's the deal with these, you know? So I, I take a robotics class, and as I'm taking those robotics classes, I go, well, what's going on with the CNC machines? I'm walking by that lab, and I go, well, I want to learn about those, and so I ended up going through the, the mechatronics program with a uh, focus in the CNC CAD CAM. Are we allowed to talk numbers? Or? Oh, please <laughs> okay. do. So, you know, in uh, the field I was in before I chose to come back here, you know, I've been uh, where I'm at now for about four years. My income's more than doubled. It's nearly tripled if you count. Uh, you know, I do additional consulting and tutoring and different things on the side as well. Is there a, a sentiment? Because sometimes you hear people who are going into highly technical fields that they feel like they have to leave Michigan if they want to get a job or be competitive. No, I don't think so at all. I think there might be a, a misconception and, and how people see factories and how things are made, but the, you know, things are being, becoming more and more technical. Are you planning on staying here in Southeast Michigan to continue your yes. career? Yep, I will be here for the foreseeable future. Like Denton's reasons for staying you know, aren't just tied to a career path. I'm not even looking at it on an economic base. I'm looking at it like a world like the East Coast floods all the time, has crazy snowstorms. The West Coast is on fire all the time. South is 
going crazy. We have all the fresh water up here. So I feel like Michigan is like the logical place to be. There's not a lot of natural disasters. So I feel like, I don't know, I see the trend that a lot of people are leaving Michigan, but I have a feeling over the next 10, 15 years, a lot of people are gonna be coming back to Michigan. Watch One Detroit, Thursday at 7.30 p.m. You can find more at OneDetroitPBS.org or subscribe to our social media channels and sign up for our One Detroit newsletter.